The gods of the family will overcome a common enemy. So the subject of the sentence is God. So this is going to be in the nominative, dei. And then of the family is genitive. Will conquer is the future, supera bunt. It's first conjugation. A common enemy. This is your accusative. This is the direct object. This is the object of it. You may also use inimicum if you feel the enemy is a personal enemy. The land of our fathers and mothers stretch from the mountains to the sea. So terra, the land, is the subject of our fathers and mothers. And actually, no storm is optional. You can not write in Latin and have it be implied in English. And of our fathers and mothers. Notice the U-M here because these are both third uh, declension, and so the U-M would be the genitive plural. Stretched is our verb. I use the perfect here, but you may use the imperfect to tende bot as well. And de from the mountains. De kind of has the implication down from the mountains. Uh, in that preposition, if you used ob, you'd mean away from the mountains. And if you use x, that'd mean out of the mountains. And to the sea would be accusative. The founder of the Roman people was a god who was strong in both name and in influence. So octor, octor is the subject, word for founder, creator of the Roman people, genitive, verb was, a god, remember erot is a form of, of sum, so it takes nominative on both sides, that's why both god and creator are nominative, um, of war, genitive, who, relative clause, this is nominative, referring back to the god, so it's masculine singular, and who is always nominative, was strong, and you could also use firmus for this, in both name and authority. Notice how there's no in that's used, and the reason why is that these are an ablet of respect, because he's strong in respect to name and in respect to authority, and that does not need uh, a preposition. It is not easy for them to find courage when the citizens themselves sit and do nothing. So id, it is the subject. However, you do not need to write it. It can be implied in the verb s non. And if you use a neuter adjective here, bacale, and that would be nominative, neuter, singular, and that's a third declension adjective. And so it is actually optional. And so non s bacale would also be it is not easy. And then for them, this is dative, because it's some adjectives can take a dative or two or four, so easy to them, easy for them, that'd be dative. To find, this is an infinitive, and when arrays are infinitive. Uh, courage, and this would be the object of the ver infinitive to find. When citizens themselves, and this is an intensive, because it makes put more emphasis on citizens, Sit and do nothing. And you can also use fakiun for, for do. Now this next sentence is really difficult. The same people who hope for freedom are the very ones who are afraid when peace has been established. So there's going to be a singular plural problem here. And so instead of using the singular populus, I'm going to use the plural homines. So men. And I'm just translate that as people because I think that's what's implied. And so this is the nominative plural for same people. Who hope, and this goes back to here, who hope for freedom. And again, hope for is just spirant. I mean, it's not a dative, so spirant is just hope for. Are the very ones, and just use ipsy here, who, another relative clause, who fear or who are afraid, and then I'll use an ablet of absolute when peace with peace having been conferred ablative absolute